Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upper Company, I'm back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today we are going to be taking on the new Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku Dokkan event on Global, also known as the most extreme battle in the multiverse. <laughs> Yo, I really want to meet the guy who comes up with the names for Dokkan events because he's clearly doing a great job. I mean, for example, there's the Jiren event, uh, what is it called? Battle against the strongest of the strong. <laughs> Yo, that's brilliant. Anyways, getting back to the main topic at hand, got a little bit sidetracked there. Uh, the goal in today's video is to find out just how much of a challenge this new Dokkan event on Global is. And I really do hope it's a, at least a little bit of a challenge. At least it's a little bit difficult because um, it is the most recent Dokkan event, right? But honestly, I kind of feel like it's going to be just like... 99% of Dokkan events out there in that it's going to be a bit of a pushover and there's not going to be any challenge at all. I mean, I really hope I'm wrong, but that's kind of been the trend with Dokkan events, right? Like they keep them fairly easy because they want people to be able to, you know, beat them fairly easily and get the medals, right? But honestly, I'd prefer if it was a little bit harder for me to beat these events so that I felt like I you know, earned that Dokkan Awakening more, right? But that's just me. Maybe I'm weird. Um, without further ado though, guys, let's jump in. You know what? First things first, let me click on this info tab and uh, give you guys some details about the stage. How about that? Okay, so it says, in this stage, you will engage in a series of battles against Goku, who's even more powerful. I'm assuming they mean like more powerful than stage one Goku, probably. And he will unleash his ultimate super attack in the final phase. Make use of support items and super attacks to keep Goku from releasing his overwhelming super attack. So it sounds to me like he's going to have some kind of like um, one hit KO mechanic at the end where if you don't kill him fast enough, then he's going to kill you like straight up with like one attack, right? So definitely make sure to bring a Ghost Usher or at least like a double Yemma. So that you can survive that attack in case you can't kill him fast enough. Um, or even... Would like a double Whis work? You know what? Just bring Ghost Ushers. Alright, Ghost Usher is the best way to avoid a one-hit KO in Dokkan events. And uh, there are also certain characters that can greatly increase the damage dealt to Goku. And the characters are uh, Fizz Hit, Fizz Bergamo. Who, by the way, is just insane now. I'll do a showcase in a bit, but if you guys have seen uh, other people's showcases or just played around with him yourself, you'll know just how crazy this Dokkan Awakening is for Bergamo. And we also have Tech Hit, Tech Jiren, um, Topo, STR Jiren, uh, basically a bunch of hits and then some other characters from the Tournament of Power arc, right? So if you guys are struggling with this event, definitely bring more of those characters, but for us today, we're not going to go with that because I already expect this stage to be really easy, so I don't want it to be any easier than it has to be. So instead, we're going to go with a... Oh, I already filtered it. Okay, so we're going to go with one of my favorite teams that I've been running recently, which is the Lineage... Or no, uh, Wicked... Wicked Bloodline, right? I've been playing Legends a lot, and they have Lineage of Evil, so that's probably what I was thinking of. So we have Wicked Bloodline here. Let's jump in. The items look... Pretty good. So here we go, guys. Jumping into the new Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku Dokkan event on Global on Super 2 difficulty, which is the uh, harder of the two, obviously. And let's just find out how much of a challenge this one actually is. Like I said, I don't expect too much of a challenge, but I do hope that I'm wrong because I want that challenge. All right. So we're going to get some key here. And it looks like we have a pretty good rotation. In the beginning with the two coolers as well as golden frieza so um we'll leave it as is why not okay here we go so he gets some orbs he gets some orbs and golden frieza is not going to be able to super how much defense do we have so 88k for both the coolers or 83 for fizz cooler 88 for the agl cooler and then 41k for frieza it doesn't really matter i guess because he has that crazy damage reduction right all right here we go Okay, first attack is a super on us, and we are taking, wow, 62k damage? Actually quite a bit, for the first stage. Like, the first stage in the event, we're taking 62k from a super. Um, that's a good sign. 
<laughs> that's actually a pretty good sign. I like that. All right, yo, I feel like I'm so weird, man. Some people, like most people will probably just be like, yo, I wanna be able to beat it as fast as possible, right? So I don't have to waste so much time on it. But for me, I'm like, yo, I'd rather, you know, take more time to beat each uh, run so that I feel, I, I felt like I would feel like I earned that token awakening, you know? But I, I do admit it is uh, kind of weird. So maybe that's just me. Stage two is uh, STR Super Sam Blue Goku, and he's a Fizz type. So I guess we will. Let's actually put the full power Frieza there, and he can super with those orbs. And then Metal Cooler can actually stay in the middle, and we'll leave the Angel Golden Frieza at the end, um, because we do have type disadvantage. I mean, later on we're not gonna have that disadvantage, so I guess. Maybe I should have kept him. Or, or, I don't really. It doesn't really matter. Who cares? <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking so hard about this. It's not gonna be that hard. Yo, watch me die though. Watch me die in this run. I know you guys are gonna make fun of me in the comments, but as I said, man, I would actually be kind of happy if I died today. Uh, in, in the game, not, 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 not like in real life. I want to live in real life. Just in the game, if I died here, I wouldn't be that upset. Okay, so now we are fighting Super, the new Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, but it looks like it's his uh, SSR state, so it's going to be at least one more stage after this. So we're making our way through the stages pretty quickly. This is the third stage. I'm guessing it's only a four-stage fight. And how are we going to play this, guys? We have two AGL types, um, and those are a lot of attacks at the end. So I'm, I'm thinking we should put this cooler back there. And uh, let's see how much Frieza has. I mean, the AGL Frieza. Uh, 75k defense. Yeah, I don't trust that. So he's going to super in the beginning. Uh, Metal Cooler can take those. And Fizz Cooler can take those. Let's see what happens. Let's see how hard we get hit with those attacks, especially if it's super. Um, ooh, we got a crit from the AGL Frieza. That AGL Frieza is really good, by the way. If you guys haven't use them yet if you have him definitely put in the effort to get him to sa10 and awaken him because he's actually a really really good aoe unit but even single target even his single target damage isn't too bad mine has two dupes and as you, as you saw man he had he does like what 1.2 mil or his attacks that got up to 1.2 mil not too shabby he also has the ability to seal and stun enemies uh which is not a very common thing man i think he might be the only unit that has both hmm I don't know about the only, but he, he's one of very few units that can both stun and seal. Okay, so we didn't take that much damage. I was I was hoping for a lot more, honestly, but what can you do? What can you do? Um, what should we do? Should we put the, you know, Metal Cooler here so we take more damage? Nah, that's stupid. Okay, that's stupid. Let's just do what we normally would do. So, full power freeze, it goes there. No super, unfortunately, but... It's okay. And he's most likely going to be dead this turn. Give me a super, maybe. No super. Okay. Uh, oh, no. I, I forgot he actually gives himself key, right? So after you finish giving your units the orbs, he'll get the extra key from his passive. So that's why he supered up. For a second, I was like, why, why is this guy supering? Uh, so now we're fighting the TUR form. That actually looks really, really clean, by the way. I mean, it, it's not really doing anything special, it's just like the little light, like, you know, effect kind of pulsing, but just the art itself, man, just the art itself looks so damn clean, I love it, I, I really do. Yo, look at how many attacks are at the end there, oh my god, um, I think I'll leave those to Metal Cooler, okay, so he takes these, and then Frieza can take these, and Metal Cooler can take those. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. So over 2 million attack from our Angel Golden Frieza. I haven't used this guy in a long time. I actually haven't used a lot of these units in a long time. The only reason I'm using them now is because I pulled uh, Metal Cooler and I can actually run that Wicked Bloodline team I've wanted to run in a long, like for a long time. So uh, this was a good opportunity, a good excuse to run it. And I'm going to take it. Okay, so... Like the counter is going down now. It's at three. So obviously when it gets down to zero or no. Uh, yeah, actually no. So it goes three, two, one. And then after that, the next time he's supposed to supposed to count, um, he'll just straight up kill you with that ultimate super attack. 
Okay, what's this gonna do? 22k? Mm, yeah, coulda, coulda done more damage. Coulda done more damage. Now, I, uh, I'm thinking we probably have to go Slasher this turn. Because if we don't, then he's probably gonna launch that like Ultra Super and kill us. So, I mean, I kinda wanna see it though. <laughs> yeah, this is a dilemma, Mac. I, I kinda wanna see it. I kinda, I kinda wanna see that super attack. Um, should I? You know what? Screw it. Let's, let's go, Slasher. I think the main point is to actually beat this event as opposed to just going around. So, uh, let's just. Let's just do that. Um, he can have those, and he can have those. And this is probably gonna do it. Probably. Actually, we have type disadvantage for two of the units, so probably not. Uh, yeah, he's probably dead. Cause we're gonna get the crits, we're gonna get the additionals. And then we have Metal Cooler, who is AGL with a type advantage. So even if we don't crit here, he's probably still gonna kill Goku. Most likely, yeah, okay, he's dead. So there you go, guys. Um, still ridiculously easy. I mean, if you don't pay attention, if you don't pay attention to the counter at the on the final stage and, you know, he actually lands that ultra super attack or whatever, he, oh, it's a spirit bomb, right? It must be the active skill. So it's probably the spirit bomb. So if he actually lands that spirit bomb, then yeah, you're screwed because you're not gonna survive that but unless you item but um if you're paying attention you use an item or maybe you dodge dodge it you have a unit that can dodge then you're good to go because he really doesn't hit that hard he doesn't have that much hp he only has four stages so overall yeah a bit of a pushover i mean is it harder than like the the earlier dokkan events yes it's it's much harder than like the agl super saiyan 3 goku or str super saiyan 3 vegeta but um overall still one of the easier new dokkan events i'm a little bit disappointed but i'm not really sure what i expected anyways so that's it guys that's my run of the new super saiyan blue kaoken goku dokkan event hope you guys enjoyed it and as always if you guys liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time i hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out